There's not a lot of information out there about old circuit boards. And I just got off the phone with somebody who was asking me, hey, I read online, can't you take the PC-104 card off and then run the USB just through the board? Let me show you the whole thing. This is called a Cold Fire 1. This was released, I'm guessing, 2003 era. What this is was an upgraded processor. It allowed you to have more memory, more functions, and also an LCD screen, except some 13 versions. So this board originally had MIL version 14 software. Now let's look at the identifiers. This board, we have no video connection. We have no battery plug. So if you're going to replace the battery, you have to actually solder the leads right on the board. It's the dreaded cold fire one. And if we look, we only have one set of dip switches. Now very quickly, this board was upgraded to a cold fire two. Now the great thing about cold fire twos is that we've got a video card plug, we've got a USB plug that allows you to load software via the USB, and we've got a battery plug. Now this board could run on a 10 inch LCD or a 15 inch LCD, depending on the software version and the hardware. So if you have mil version 16 and you have a PC-104 card, now I may be talking above your head, but I wanna get the information out there. If your PC-104 card is bad, you can remove the PC-104 card from the ribbon cables and the power, move your video cable over to this board and plug in your USB and it will work. That won't work on early cold fire ones and it really won't work on version 14 or 15. But if your board or your machine was shipped with the network hard drive ethernet and USB option, you could remove that card and run it natively through here, but not if you don't have it. So this board was shipped with a video Mocon processor. This, if it doesn't have the PC-104 card, was just gonna be the processor which had the embedded video and the USB and also the Mocon board. Hope that makes sense. We're trying to get the information out there.